Welcome back to Big Em Up uh, Dollar Bin Beats, where we review the best in the dollar bin, uh, the proverbial dollar bin, uh, to bring you the best drum and bass we can find on the cheap. Um, partially so we don't forget this music, and partially because it's fun to build a collection cheaply, um, especially when you're finding good stuff. So... <clears throat> Let's get started. We've got Risk on G2 uh, Records. The uh, So I always assume that Risk and G2 are really heavy, heavy stuff. Um, you know, like Tear Out, uh, Dylan, Tech Itch stuff. And he mostly does do that stuff. And there's a lot of stuff on G2 that, that sounds like that. But this tune is... Uh, it's a really big tune. It's got these huge Reese's, um, and it it interplays with a, a really interesting kind of upbeat melody, not kind of like eighty synthy stuff, um, an arpeggio probably. So I really dig it. So that's the A side method. The B side's the one we're actually showing. Um, Lego, and it's a more of a stuttered melody you can tell it's kind of that synthy melody again uh, they're definitely like um, a lot of times when you hear a vinyl record you can tell the a and the b are recorded around the same time because they have you know kind of similar ideas throughout them uh it's a little bit more forgettable but i liked this method tune so much that i would have easily paid you know, I'd probably pay full price for this record. This is one of those records that, like, Risk was a producer that put out a lot of really hard stuff, so that would kind of get some people not looking at the name, and like me. Um, and he only, he didn't release a ton of stuff, maybe like 10 things. Uh, so he doesn't have, like, huge name recognition. But this thing, still today, I think would just kill a dance floor. Uh, if dropped right, could just tear up a mix. Um, I absolutely am in love with this record. Uh, so go buy it. <clears throat> Next, we've got something on Function. As you've seen me in the... If you've watched my other videos, you'll notice that I do have a thing for Function Records. Kind of um, building up to buy you know, as much of the collection as I can. Uh, Function is Digital's label. It sounds very much like digital. Um, still to this day, like they, they took a break for a while, but they're back releasing records again. And it, it, they remain kind of on the dubby, harder dubby side of um, drum and bass, which is kind of like technicals sound throughout, I mean, digital's sound throughout history. Um, on this one, we have two Survivor and Tex 97. Um, Survivor it's got some really good break work like the the drumming drumming in it uh, the chopping of the drum breaks was it's pretty good but the bass sounds really muddy and really dated like you can tell this was done on hardware it didn't get a proper i mean it, it i well, honestly i can't tell if it's the press or the mix down but either way I, not one of my favorite things that are by um digital uh, which he was releasing under submissive element next we've got Tex 97, uh, it also sounds a bit dated, a bit muddy. You can tell it's kind of a, you can tell that it's from the early 90s. Um, and this one has a more muted, growly bass. Uh, I'd probably pass on this one because I can't imagine even making it into one of my Dollar Bin Beats mixes that I've been planning out and, and plan on releasing soon. Um, yeah, pass. Even if you're a digital fan, which is sad. Next, we have Lyric on My Lip by Tally. As you can see, the B-side. Uh, this is the original release of this. I looked it up. I was like, I am pretty sure I own Lyric on My Lip at least two other times. And after I looked it up, I totally do. Uh, this is the original, which is re was produced by Ronnie Size. Um, and then... I have the Ed Rush and Optical and Marky and XRS remixes and uh, a 
DJ Die remix and a DJ Crust remix. Um, this one's probably my favorite of them. So when Tally came out, I was reading Knowledge Magazine, um, you know, obsessively, and I was really excited about a female MC releasing an album. You didn't hear too many female MCs. Uh, she released a video for Lyric on My Lip. At the time, I thought it was really good. Now, it didn't age that well. Um, and and after listening to her album, Lyric on the lip, My Lip is definitely the standout single, um, but it it never was it like after repeat listens all the polish just fell away and i just wasn't feeling it at all it's kind of one of those hype records and then the more i listened to it I was like this isn't that good um and then the b side of this one is district line and she literally uses kind of the same you know mc um, melody da 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 that sounds like lyric on my lip but it contains like no hook no like uh you know nothing that you're gonna sing after it so um as far as what i recommend it now it's it's full cycle if you're like me i i i a little bit of a like to be a little bit of a completionist i like looking for things that are that to fill out kind of a collection so you can kind of especially with labels because you get a whole feel for what they were doing and i find that really interesting um you know you can get this one cheap and if you like full side records full cycle records or if you're looking kind of for like some mid 2000s kind of cheese records it, I, I pick it up but don't spend a lot on it up next is another great example of stuff that that is the reason that i wanted to start this this video uh stream it's vibe recordings and it's the fix and generic connections and unknown factor warm light the fix and generics uh connections tune is a banger i can't believe i've never heard this before it's awesome i love it it's got relentless breaks with a real driving um kind of heavy heavy bass line uh it's it's like throbbing kind of like a, a sub focus tumor goes duh, 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 like real repetitive and 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 but changes melody but keeps the re rep repetition of the the poundingness of it um i listened to this thing i think like 10 times straight in a row i love this tune so much um so pick this one up and then the B side is Warm Nights by uh, Unknown Factor. This one's, you know, it's kind of liquidy sounding for 2006. Um, it's like a liquid tune, kind of generic. Uh, it's not the best tune. It's not, it's not offensive. It's not bad, um, but forgettable, which is how a lot of B sides are. Um, but the A side is so good that I would drop everything and go run out and find yourself a copy of it as soon as possible. Last but not least, we have uh, Science Function by Easy Rollers and Visions by Fellowship. So Science Function, uh, and this is on Moving Shadow, one of the greatest drum and bass labels ever, uh, helped start drum and bass. They put out Dom and Roland, they put out Calyx, they put out, I mean, like everybody. Uh, and they had a long, they were putting out drum and bass longer than almost everybody. Um, even they did, their early stuff is, is hardcore. Uh, I've always kind of wondered why they stopped and why they ever come back. Because it seems like even though um, vinyl sales aren't what they used to be, they could still have an impact on the scene. Anyways. Uh, I've got quite a few Moving Shadow records because for whatever reason, tons of them are in the budget bin. And most of the time, I don't think they deserve it. And this is certainly one of those those records. Uh, so it's Easy Rollers, Science Function, and Visions by Fellowship, which I already said. But these are both kind of that jazz step sound that came out in 99, in 2000. This one came out in 99, 98 where you've got like live instrumentation over breaks, 
a little bit more intricate breaks than we have like in your average two-step jump up tech to um you know techie neuro funk tune uh the the uh easy rollers tunes kind of got this 90s synthy sound um to me it sounds a little throwback even for that time um but it may not have been and then visions by fellowship is uh like pure jazz step lounge core stuff you'd hear book and play um both of these tunes are great both of them deserve to be spun out uh i really think that i'd really like to hear someone kind of redo jazz step the way that it was done here and that easy rollers were also known for um i think it'd be kind of cool to hear a modern interpretation of it and i don't think it's being done that i know of um yeah so definitely go pick this one up it's just a couple bucks and it's well worth having in your collection Anyways, if you like what we're doing, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and comment and all that. Um, let me know if there's anything you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks.